how to install PoE Network Video Recorder and the IP cameras. The difference between the PoE Network Video Recorder and the regular Network Video Recorder is the PoE switch is integrated into this recording box. We have several PoE ports at the rear side of this Network Video Recorder. There are three key components in the standard PoE IP camera system. The IP cameras, the Network Video Recorder, and the PoE switch. We use this PoE switch to connect all these cameras and the network video recorder to have a small local network. The whole system will keep running without the internet. But we do need to connect this PoE switch to our modem or router if we want to remote access to these cameras. I think the design purpose for this PoE network video recorder is try to simplify the installation. We cut three key components to two. Now both the network video recorder and the PoE switch are integrated into one box. But the downside is you may need to pull all the cables from those cameras back to this network video recorder. If you want to place this network video recorder to the living room above the TV, we need to handle all this cable pass through the wall from outside to inside. It's a little bit max. By using this PoE switch, you can take the advantage of the network topology. You can place this PoE switch on the garage and connect all these cameras to this PoE switch and just pull one cable from this PoE switch to your living room to connect to this network video recorder. All right, now let's try to connect the cameras to the PoE network video recorder. Let's start from the IP cameras. These two are the bullet cameras. If you got a chance to pick your IP cameras, pay attention on one parameter, it's the lens. Because we not only want the cameras to catch the wide area, we also want the camera to catch the clear image. And the lens will determine the pixel density. We are going to talk about the pixel density in another video. There are three connectors in this camera. This is the connector for the Ethernet cable, and this is for audio input, and we got DC input for external power supply, since we are going to use the PoE power over Ethernet, so we don't need this connector. Let's connect the cable to this Ethernet port. One takes to make the connection. We will need to protect this connector well, even it comes with the cap, but the cap doesn't have enough to press to keep the water out. If you leave this camera outside with the moisture, and this pin is quite easy to get rusty. Once it gets rusty, we cannot repair this camera until we replace the whole cable, which is lead to this camera inside. So it's difficult to replace or repair the connector. Make sure you put extra tape or the tube to protect this connector. Let me connect another cable to this connector. So we got two cables red connecting these two cameras. All right, let's move to the cable. I think I just forgot to mention one more component in the IP camera system. It's the cable. Should we pick the k 5 or k 6 Ethernet cable? Actually, it doesn't matter. Since all the cameras just use 100 megabit per second speed, KFIE or K6 doesn't improve the speed between the camera and the network video recorder. But what makes the cable is really matter. It's better to pick the cap cable with the solar copper mate. If we use the CCA type cable, we may face the serious power loss in the long run. All right, the cable is ready. Let's move to the network video recorder. This is a four port PoE network video recorder. There's eight port version or 16 port version. I will recommend that you pick the PoE network video recorder with some extra PoE port in case you may want to add to cameras in future. There's four PoE ports. Let's connect those two cameras to these PoE ports. There are two indicators, one for data, another for power. Both indicators are on, 
this PoE network video recorder is provides the PoE power also establish the network connectivity with those cameras this is the LAN port we are supposed to connect this LAN port to our modem or router to have the remote access to these cameras but the whole system will running even if we don't connect this network video recorder to our modem or router to have the internet access now both cameras live let me connect the mouse to navigate the menu if your IP cameras don't show up to automatically you may need to manually add those cameras to this network video recorder usually you will find the search option hit the search and the network video recorder will discover all the cameras automatically then hit these cameras and the cameras will be added to your network video recorder I will recommend that you choose the same brand for both cameras and the network video recorder usually they will have the optimization for the operation and the connection they will make the connection automatically there's one more question can we use this PoE switch to work with this PoE MVR? it depends I mean it depends how the vendor build a network video recorder if we want this PoE switch to work with the PoE network video recorder we need to make sure the PoE MVR can accept the IP cameras through this LAN port not all these PoE network video recorder allow the IP cameras to go from the outside through this LAN port but the advice is if you intend to use a PoE switch to work with your camera system just choose the regular network video recorder this is the whole setup but I don't feel comfortable with this installation those cameras will be deployed outside and this is the copper cable and the copper cable could absorb the surge from the environment and the surge can travel to one end or another eventually it could damage our IP cameras or PoE network video recorder I want to add the surge protector to this system let's make it this is a 8 port PoE surge protector there's 8 in and 8 out I just want to say the int doesn't mean the signal int it works with the cables from outside which possible could carry the search and the out is the clean signal let me attach this search protector to the wall and remove the cable from our PO network video recorder and connect it to the import of this search protector use this sharp patch code to link the output port to our network video recorder there's one more step we need to ground this search protector so the search protector will catch the search and release the ground do we need to add the search protector to protect our IP cameras technically yes we don't know which direction the search could travel if travel to the cameras it could damage the cameras especially if we have these expensive cameras like the LPR cameras or the PDD cameras we can add this one in one out outdoor PoE search protector to protect the cameras we can put this search protector next to the cameras and connect this cable to the input port of this search protector and use a short patch code to link the output port to our cameras all right that's all for today's video if you have any question please leave a message in the comment section below